Second is the symbiotic design framework. This framework is applicable to a wide range of fields, including architecture, engineering, industrial design, graphic design, service design, interactive design, urban design, social sciences, and much more. By adopting this approach, designers can gain a more nuanced understanding of the complex systems they are working with, enabling them to create more effective and sustainable solutions. In addition to its relevance to the design, the symbiotic design approach is also well suited to those interested in sustainability and the creation of resilient and adaptive systems. This is because it emphasizes the importance of understanding the interaction and mutual dependencies between systems and their environment. By taking this into account, designers can create solutions that not only function well within a given context, but also contribute positively to the wider ecosystem in which they are situated. Moreover, the symbiotic design approach provides a way of thinking about design that goes beyond traditional linear, circular, and hierarchical models. Instead, it recognizes the complex dynamic nature of the systems we work with and encourages us to embrace a nonlinear, iterative approach to problem solving. This can be especially useful in the context of rapidly changing environments and shifting social and economic dynamics. In summary, anyone interested in the design of complex, sustainable systems could benefit from learning about the theoretical framework of symbiotic design. By adopting this approach, designers and other professionals can gain a deeper understanding of the interaction and dependencies that underlie the systems they work with enabling them to create more effective and sustainable solutions.